Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome to today's class, Business Mathematics. Oh, my name is Lecture Duncan. So I'll be taking you through this unit, Business Mathematics. As you know, this comprises of sums and you need <clears throat> someone to begin. It has almost, it has almost 10 to 11 topics that we have to cover so that <clears throat> we cover the entire syllabus. So let's start with the first topic set. Let's start with the first topic set. 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 So set, whenever you are, <clears throat> maybe let's define what a set is. Set, set refer to, set refers to, Set refer to arrangement of item. Arrangement of item. Arrangement of item. Enclosed. Enclosed in a diagram called. Venan diagram called Venan diagram. So that is set. So we can do it practically. So we can do it practically. This is the Venan diagram we are talking about. Then we have some, these circles are the one we are referring to as set. These circles. Then items, items are the, now the letters that those, those items are now the numbers or things that are found inside the, the set. So we call them element like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. These are the ones. So this diagram that comprise all these elements and set, we call them Venom diagram, Venom diagram. Venom diagram. Then these circles you see inside here are the one we are referring as set, are the one we are referring as set. And those items inside those set are the one we are referring as element, are the one we are referring as element, are the one we are referring as element. Yeah, those items inside the set are the one we are referring as element, are the one we are referring as element. They are the one we are referring as elements. I hope you can take screenshot. Then we continue. So let's go on. Let's go on. Let's see now the important of that, important of that diagram, important of that diagram. So we said this diagram, this these items, items are the ones that are inside this set. We call them element. We call them element. Maybe we define what's an element. What's an element? So elements are members of a set. Elements are members of a set. Elements are members or item in a set. Item in set. Item in a set. Item in a set. Item in a set. Item in a set. So let's see. Important of studying this set, important, important of set theory, of set theory, or venom diagram, venom diagram, venom diagram. Important of studying this set or set theory or venom diagram. Number one, number one, it provide a logic language, provide a logic language, provide a logic language, 
provide a logic language provide a logic language through which through which business idea business idea through which business idea can be communicated can be communicated communicated number two important number two important number two we are talking about it is a counting method and hence use real number. It is a counting method. Hence, use real number, real numbers. Then number three, the last one. It provides a solid foundation. It provides a solid foundation. It provides a solid foundation for understanding of probability for understanding of probability. Probability i.e. use of and which mean common which mean common or use of or or is presented like this and is presented like this. This not that. Or which mean all, which mean all, which mean all, which mean all. So those are the three important offset. Those are the three important of set. Those are the three important of set. So let's check on type of set. Type of set we have, type of set. Type of sets we have number one, we have something known as null sets. Null sets. Null sets is a set without element. Null set or zero. Null set is called null set. Void set. Null set. Void set or empty set. M set. This is a set containing no element. A set containing no element. Or a set without an element, without an element inside. Example you can draw just a venom diagram, then a set without no element. That's a good example of null set. So number two, we are talking about subset. Subset. Subset, you say, this is a set. This is a set. This is a portion, not a set, a portion. A portion of a set. A portion of a set where elements 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 of that set element of that set belong to belong to another bigger set another bigger set Bigger set, another bigger set. The yeah, element of that set belongs to another bigger set. It can be something like this. You might be having this set, and then you also have another set like 
this. So this a subset, this we call them subset, we call them subset, we call them subset, call them subset. Then number three, number three, or it can be just that set, and then we have another set inside it, another set inside it, okay? So like element A, you can say it belongs to this subset A, B, A, this subset A. So element A belongs to both, it's a subset of element A and element, it's as, as a, a subset of this, so it's A and B, both of them. So number three, we can talk of universal, universal set, universal set, universal set, and you say, this is a set, this is, this is a set, this is a set containing, containing all element, all element, all element under consideration, under consideration. Consideration, consideration, like universal set can be T, maybe T has one element, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it can have this T, all elements, like this one, we call them a universal set. So this element, this, and this element, this universal set T can have subset, can set maybe A, subset A contain only one, two, and three. Maybe subset B contain maybe four, three, or two, okay? Or maybe say subset three. So the entire, the entire element in a, in a Venom diagram or both set, we call them universal set. We call it universal set. We call it universal set. Type three. Number four. That one, number three, universal set. Number four, we are talking about infinity sets. Infinity sets. Whereby we say this is a set containing countless elements. This is a set containing countless elements, countless elements, countless elements. E.g., can be a set T, but it contain one, two, three. It goes like that up to no end, up to no end. So that's a set that we call infinity. Then we also have finity set, finity set, finity set, we say, this is a set containing countable element. This is a set containing countable element, containing, Countable element, countable element, containing countable element, e.g., can say set T contain one, two, three, four, five, up to ten. Yeah, we can count, we can count infinity. You cannot reach the end, but infinity, at least you know the end, at least you know the the end, but finity, at least you know the end. Finity, at least you know the end. Then we have number six, this joint set, this joint set, this joint set, this joint set, we say, they are, they are set with no common element. They are set, they are set with no, common element with no common element, i.e., i.e. it can be set A 
has one, two, three, four as a member or members of that set, but set B has only A, B, C, D. They are not common. When you are drawing this joint set, they always appear like this. You have two sets, you have subset A, maybe here, and subset B here. So A, B contain A, B, C, and D, while this one contain one, two, three and four so those are the one we are calling this joint set those are the one we are calling this joint set those are the one we are calling this joint set then we also have something known as complementary sets so have something known as complementary so it's another type We also have another type, type seven, complementary set, complementary set, complementary set, complementary set. And we say a set is said to be complementary of another set. It is said to be complementary of another set. Of another set, if the two sets do not have element, do not have element, but the element are member of universal sets, do not have of another set, if the two sets. Do not have, do not have do not have same element, do not have same element, but elements are member of universal set. Universal set. Remember what we said about universal set. E.g., e.g., we have set A. We have set A, which is it has section two. Section two. Male student. Male student. And set B. It has section two, female student, female student. So the universal set or the universal set there are you, it will be section two student, section two student. So that's how, that's how it is, that's how. It is a universal set there, it will be section two, student, they are both student, they are both students. So those are the type of set, those are the type of set we have, those are the type of set we have, those are the type of set we have. So let's check now on operation of set, operation of set, and under operation of set, we have only two operation of set, whereby we have Roman one, Union of set, union of set, union of set denoted by the sign or denoted by the name or union of set. We say this is the addition of set described by the term or this is the addition of set. This is the addition. of set, this is the addition of set, described, described by the term or by the word, described using word or using word or capture, 
all the member of the set, all the member of the set, the member of the set that make union, that make union, that make union, that make union. that make union i.e. A or B can also be written as A or B. Or if you are drawing this set A and this set B, so we capture all members, all members. From here, maybe we have a member here, all of them, all members that are in this set, this set A, this set B. So that's how we call, we say that it's a, a union of set, a union of set using the word or a number two, but two. Yeah, you'll understand better when we come to real example, the real example where you apply that word or, or and. For now you can just see that it's use of letter, but they are coming to help us ahead, okay? So number two, we are talking about intersection of set, intersection of sets using this sign or word and, and. So intersection of set, we say, we say, this is the multiple multiplication multiplication of sets describe describe using word and word and word and and it capture it captures it captures the member the member of who the member who are common capture the member who are common in all sets, in all sets, in all sets, in all sets, e.g., e.g., if you are talking about A, A and B, it means that we are talking about set A, set A and B. So we are only invested with this part that is common between the the two said this part that is common, not there we summarize everything, but here we are only invested with this part that is common between the, the two sets here, yeah, that part that is common between the two sets is the one we are interested with. All those elements that will be found between those two sets are the one we'll be saying they are intersection of sets, intersection of sets. So we can look at example, at a look at example of intersection of set example. Example you can write or you can example you can. So you are given universal set. You are given universal set. You are given a universal set. T. You are given a universal set T, which has the following element one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Those are the elements that are in universal set A. Then you are told, and the following subset are the, or the following, the following are the subset of that universal set. The following are the subset subset whereby you are told A has this element, A has three, four, five, and six, three, four, five, and six. And B has 
one three four seven one three four seven and eight and eight so a question come determine the intersection of a and b determine determine a intersection section of a and b of a and b so solution determine the intersection of a and b solution 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 you take a and b you can just write the way those elements are okay and just write the way those elements are is equal to set A has the following element. We have three, we have three, four, five, and six. Then you come you write there, this sign, then you write those elements that are in B. We have one, three, four, seven, and eight. So that one you have written, and then the intersection there is three and four. Intersection there three and four. Yeah, those are the intersection. Those are the elements that this set share in common. Those are the elements that this set share in common. Or you can present it there diagrammatically. So universal set T, universal set T is T. Then inside the Tabernum diagram, we have two sets there. A, two subset A and B. This set A it has the following element and this set B. So you look what is common inside here is what we'll put here. What they share in common, we have three and four. Then others, like A, it has three, five, and six. So I can put here five and six. Then this one has three, four, one, one, seven, and eight. So it, that's how you present that. That's how you present. But our main intention was to determine what intersect, what intersect the set A and B. This is what intersect set A and B. That is what intersect set A and B. That is what intersect set A and B. I hope you understand example two. Example two, before we check on now the question paper, the, before we check now on the question paper, questions from the question papers, before we check questions from the question paper. Before we check questions from question paper, consider, yeah, are you still copying? You can copy. You can copy. Yes, consider, example two, consider, example two, consider the following set T, consider the following set T and subset C, D and E. Consider number two, Roman two, 
consider the following universal set C, universal set T and subset C, D and E, C, D and E, C, D and E, whereby you are given T, T has the following element, T has the following element 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Then subset C has 4 and 8, 4 and 8, then B, Subset D has 10, 2, and 0. Then E has 0, has 0, E has 0. So you are told required, required, required. Required find D E Roman one, then Roman two P D E P D E C intersection D intersection D. So solution, 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 solution. Solution. So you take D E to write D E. Then if you write those elements that are in D, which is four and eight, then you write those elements. You write that sign, which is element that are in E, which is zero, which is zero, zero. Yeah, which is zero. So it can remain like that. Or if it's drawing. We'll just draw this a universal set T. This a universal set T. Then it has element, has element, a subset of E, it has subset of D. But E is a subset, but it has a, a null element. It has a null element. So it just shows here. It just show here. Maybe you just mark here. There don't. It no. There is no element there. So it is E, then D, and inside D we have four, eight. Inside E we don't have anything there. Okay. Yeah, that's null element. That's null element. That's how it is shown. Okay. Uh, because if it could be there, if, if there could be element, we could have shown there a space, and then we indicate inside it there is an element, but there is no element so they are just intercepting on the line almost no almost the line almost the line of that set d they are just intersecting the line almost the line of that set d so you mark just here to show there is another element then command two you are told to show c intersection d then intersection e whereby you just come and write those elements that are in C. We have four, eight, then intersection D, those elements that are D, we have 10, two, then zero, and then we have those now elements that are in E, we have zero, we have zero, we have zero. So if you are told to draw, that's the under, but if you are told to draw, you will present it. These are, these are some, we, some we call D and C and D is the one we call they are disjoint element. They are disjoint set because they don't have any common element inside them, okay? And this joint element, you will just draw a universal set, universal set. Then this joint element like E, <coughs> So this set, set A, set D, which has a, a knee of E here, 
then we have this D, then C will be here because they don't have any common elements. So you put those elements inside it, okay? Here is four, here is eight, and then here can put 10, two, then zero, zero, it can appear anywhere, but just remain like that. Just remain like that. That's how it is, that's how it is. No, C is four, eight, C is four, eight, sorry. Is the one with four eight. Is the one with four eight. Then this one, D is ten two. Okay, ten two. Then zero. It just remain like that here. D was ten two ten two. Not four eight ten two ten two. Then it just remain like that. How that's how you go about those questions. That's how you go about those questions so let's try to look at the example let's try to look at the example let's try to look at the example from question paper so if you check on the question paper i don't know if they have sent you this because if you have this question paper, because here in KC, we operate with the lectures note and we also operate with the question paper. But online student, I prefer you have this question paper. We have all years from 2015 to August 2022, the last sitting that they have already done. So last sitting, they said that question, they said that question, they said that question. So I'll read. If you don't have, you can write. I'll read such question. If you don't have, you can write, okay? Yeah, or I give you an example of this. Or I give you an example. I give you an assignment of this so that I do another, another one like two. And then I also give you time to, I also give you time to check, to, to, to check or to listen to, to try by yourself, okay? So this one, the example of whatever I have been doing is in November 2020, November 2020, November 2020, November 2020, question 5B, question 5B. So question 5A, you are told, question 5A, explain the following term in the, in the relation to the set and set. So we are talking about the question of November 2020, question five, question five A and B, question five A and B. So A part of it is theory. So number one, we are told about, define the following term, finity set, finity set. So finity set, we say they are set which have, has what? They are set which has, the, num the maximum number of sets are known. The maximum, the, the, the number of elements in the set are known, okay? The number of elements are known. They reach a certain level. Like we said, finity set, we can have the universal set T. Then we have one, and we know it 10 to 10. That is finity set, okay? Then Roman two is infinity set. Infinity set, we say it is a set which the, the beginning of the number, you know, but the maximum number, we don't know where they, they reach. We don't know where they reach, okay? Then, Roman three, you are also to define equal set. Equal set is an, a, a set that has, a two set that has the same number of elements, the same number of elements, yeah. These are set which have the same number of elements, e.g., E.g. you can have set A, it has two, three, four. Then set B, it has A, B, C. They have the same number of elements. Though so these are the one we are referring as equal set. These are the one we are referring as equal set. These are the one we are referring as equal set. So this one is what we are referring as infinity. Infinity, infinity. And this one is what we are referring as infinity. We know where the maximum number reach, but here we don't know. And here is the one that has equal number of set. Then 
from number B, number B, number B of the question you are told. If you are writing, you can write the question. A company which has five regular customer stock produces produces a company which has a company which has five regular customer five regular customer produces R S T U V W X and Z and Z W X and Y not Z X and Y X and Y. So those are the elements. Those are the elements. Then the question continue. Similarly, if the question continue, customer A, customer A, buy, customer A buys product, customer A buys product, R, S, T, and V, okay? And this represent in a set in form of A, and this represent in a set in form of A is equal to R S T V R S T V. So similarly, similarly. Customer B, I'm just writing in, in case of those who don't have this question paper, but all others I hope by today or tomorrow, they will scan or they will send soft copy of this paper so that you go, you have your own copy. I'll only be writing the year like November 2020, question 5B. Then I only do the solution part of it because the question you have it, okay? So I'm only writing for those who don't have this question paper for today, but all others, you can download them from the, they'll send it in the group. So you will download it from there so that you have your copy and you'll be looking at those questions. So similarly, customer B, C, D, and E buys, buys product, Price product, product represented in a set, presented in a set, in set B, we gonna R, S, R, T, not S, R, T, V, W, X, E, it has set C, not E, C, C, it has set R, T, and X. Then D, it has set R, V, W, and E, it has set R, V, W, and X. Required, required, required now. Required, Roman one. You are told to set C, D. Then Roman two, you are told to give set A, C, then you are told to give B, you are told to give B. And lastly, you are told to give what is common between A, B, C, B, 
Told to give that you are told to give that you are told to give that that told to give that told to give that told to give that so the same solution. You come and write those elements. Does this sign mean or mean or all? Or what is all of it? Okay, so C is solution. Solution. C to you, it means all. So you give those elements that are in set A, set C, and set D, set E, and set D. So set C, we have R, C, x and set d we also have r v w so you just add there v and w so that's all that's all it means all all elements that are available in those two two sets those are the one we mean by this sign so but if it is and so like now roman 2 roman 2 so if it was drawing you can just draw you can just draw like this this set A and this set B, okay? This set A and this set B. So you give those elements that. So R, R is common between the two, okay? You can check set C and set D. R is common between the two. So R will be here, R will be here. So you have T, X, you have T, X, and then here this C and this D here you have V, W, V. W, so that's how you can present it. And we said you always put it in Avena diagram. Always put it in Avena diagram. Then if no Roman 2, Roman 2, Roman 2 can have your set A to set C. You can do that, set A to set B, C. Then we have set B. So set A to set C. You put all elements that are available in those two sets. Like A, we have R, S, T, U, a T, V, T, V. Then set C, set C, we have R, T, X. So what we do we miss here is X. Because we have R, we have T. So what we, mean, we miss here is X. Then those are there. But then we have this. We have this, which is B, what is in set B, what is in set B, we have R, T, V, W, X. We have R, T, W, X, W, X. So <clears throat> to draw this, to draw this, to show this, uh, the, so it can be A, A, set A, set A, then set C, set C, where is set C? Set C, set C, set C. Then you also have another. So what is between A and C? What is between A and C? It is R, R is common. You can see those elements that between set A and C, R is common. R, you also have T. Also have T. So other elements that are not common there is X. So kwa C, kutakuwa na X na kwa B, kwa E, kutakuwa na, kwa E, kutakuwa na. Those elements that are in A, then they are not in T. Kutakuwa na, is it? S, V, S, V, R, S, S, V. But in B, in B we have what? We have V. So they share the same with A, and we also have, we have V, and we have T. They share the same with C. So T is shared among the three, okay? T is shared, T and R are shared among the three. So, Sachora, B, B, P, A, Itakua, Tuwapo. B, in set B, here we have C. We have T, we have what is common there. You have to make at least sure that it is there. 
Then what is sin B that they share with A? We have R, R and T, R and T. Then the other one, we said they don't, they share also V, they share also V, B, they share also V. So V, V is not outside, it is just inside that figure, just inside that figure, okay? They share also that, they share also that. Then <clears throat> in C and B, what they share in common is R and T. So X should be outside this, it should not be in B. Then you look at the remaining elements that are in B that have no, they are not in A and they are not in T. We have X, X is in B and X is in C. So it is also, it should also be in C and E, but not in A, okay? Then another one that is not in E is W, W. W is what you put here. So, and remember to put your figure into a Vena diagram. Remember to put your figure into a Vena diagram. That's how it should appear. That's how it should appear. That's how it should appear. So this is A, this is C. That's how it should appear. That's how it should appear. So X, you don't put it in two times. It's just like that. That's how it should appear. That's how it should appear. Then the last one, before we check on another example, the last one, please, where well, don't understand, please ask. Where well, don't understand, please ask. That's why I'm here. Minute, please. So let's go on. The last one, we have set A, intersection with set B, intersecting with set C, intersecting with set D, then intersecting with set E. So we just write those elements the way they are. We just write those elements the way they are. Then you find the common element among the, the three. You find the common element among these different, all these different. So common element there we have are, we have R, so you will write, you write element in A is R, S, T, V. Then intersecting with element in B, element in B, let's just write it there, here. So element in A is R, S, T, V. Then intersecting with the element in B, whereby we have R, T, V, W, X. Then intersecting with element in C, whereby we have R, T, X. Then intersecting with element in D, whereby we have R, V, W, and lastly, they intersect with the element in E, whereby we have R, V, W, X, R, V, W, X. So drawing this, drawing this, drawing this is now what will maybe what do go. So you start with set A. Set B, set A intersecting with set B, set A intersecting with set B, set B, so you find what is common there. So this element R, what is common between the two? We have R, R, okay? R, R, 
So R is shared, V also is shared. Then another one is V. V also is shared. V also is shared among the two. V also is shared among the two. Then if you come to set C, subset C, you check also R is shared, T is shared. So subset C will also share these two. R, T. So subset C. And then we have X. We have X. X is shared between B and X is shared between B and C. So that's subset C. Then you come to subset E. Subset D. Whereby we have R is shared. Then V, R and V, R and V, they are shared. So you can just put here T and just put here T, T. Then we have here R, we have here R. Then R is shared between T, R, V, R, V is shared between subsets. Is shared is between your set D. Then W, W is shared between B and D, B and D, B and, so you can draw this set here, then B, it has W there, okay, it has W there, then set E, set e, subset E, it has R, V, W, it has R, V, W, then X, then X, so it is inside this, okay, yeah, it has R, R, V, W, X, W, X, so it is here. That is subset E, that's how it should appear, that's how it should appear. And always remember to put your work under a universal set, a universal set. So this is a venom diagram, venom diagram, venom diagram. That's how you should present that, that's how you should present that. So you can copy, you can copy, you can copy give you like five minutes or three minutes to take screenshot then we continue can copy that So I hope you are done. Hope you are done. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's check another question. Let's check another question. 
So let's check the last sitting question. Last sitting question. Last sitting question on Venom on set. You are told, you are told to explain the following term as used in set. It was question four. It was question four, August 2022. August 2022, question four. August 2022, question four. So you are told, explain the following term as used in set theory. Number one, union of set, union of set, what we are defining here, okay? So union of set, we say there are set, union of set, we say union of set, we say it is set that comprise all elements, all elements, and they are described using the word, or they are described using the word, or with this sign, okay? With this, and then number two, intersection of set. Intersection of set is the one we have been doing. Intersection of set. It is multiplication of set, whereby we only invested with the common part between the two sets. Common part, and they are described using the word and with this sign, with this sign. That's how you are supposed. Then complementary set. Complementary. Set. We say complementary set are two sets that have different elements, but both sets are one of them. They belong to a universal set. They belong to a universal set. You will refer to your notes, okay? Then you have been given there, have been given there question C, whereby you are told a recent survey a recent survey, so I'm writing for those who don't have, for those people who don't have this paper, but hope after this class, they will share the paper on the group, then you will go and have your own copy, okay? A recent survey in our next class, I'll only be writing there a year. So like here is August, 2022, question 4A, question 4A and C, question 4A and C. You are told a recent survey was carried out, was carried out, a recent survey was carried out on the type, the type of three latest fashionable, three latest fashionable, Three latest fashionable, three latest fashionable hairstyle. Yeah, ladies, I know this now your time, hairstyle. Hairstyle most preferred by ladies, most preferred, preferred by the ladies. Most preferred by the ladies in Nairobi County, in Nairobi County, Nairobi County. So namely, namely, so brand one was chemical use, chemical use. Brand two was braiding hair, braiding hair, braiding hair. And brand, brand three was haircut, haircut, haircut. Then you are told the survey, the survey that concluded, that included, included 470 respondents. Respondent. Reveal the following, reveal the following, reveal. The following. So you are told, the following, you are told, 200 ladies, 200 ladies, 
200 ladies preferred chemical use preferred chemical use then 280 ladies 280 ladies preferred braiding preferred braiding then you also have 190 ladies 190 ladies preferred haircut preferred haircut then ninth lady preferred chemical use and braiding chemical use and braiding then we are also told 70 ladies preferred chemical use and haircut then we also have 120 ladies preferred braiding and haircut braiding and haircut then the last one 30 ladies 30 ladies preferred all the three preferred all the three hairstyle three hairstyle hairstyle so that's the question that's the question that's the question that's the question there they were asked then required 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 what were you required to do roman one present represent the above information on a venom diagram represent the above information on a venom diagram venom diagram so how many brands do we have we have three so we have three sets so this brand are the subset we have okay so we have universal sets then we draw a venom diagram then this venom diagram has a subset of three we have something like this and then this okay so this is chemical use, this is brand, and this is haircut. This is haircut, okay? This is haircut. So we can just put present their letters like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then H, then H outside the knee we also have. But here we don't have those people that did not prefer any haircut so you come here the total of the number the total number of the people that were interviewed were for 70 so our n total number was 470 was 470 so what we are required is to crack to crack this number to see how many were presented with a so after cracking we'll come and write them here So in our question, we were told that there was no any, there was no any lady that did not like any hairstyle. There was no any lady that did not like any hairstyle. So we start with the statement number one, 200 ladies prefer chemical use. So 200, 200 prefer chemical use. Chemical use is this set, this set C. 
you put there all those elements that are inside that set C, we have A plus B plus C plus D. That's what we refer we are told. Then 280, 280 preferred braiding. So braiding is defended by B. We put all the set, those the elements that are inside the braiding. We put all the elements that are inside the braiding. B, we have plus C plus A plus G plus G. Then we are told also that 190 ladies preferred haircut. We describe there 190, which equal to all elements that are in the element, the set of haircut, all elements that are in the set of haircut. So it will be C plus D plus F plus E plus E plus E. Then we were told that 90 ladies preferred chemical and mark here the word and the word and the word and mark that word and 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 braiding so you come here what do you say the, what do you say was the meaning and what is common between the two what is common between the two so we'll write 90 then we go to the set of chemical use and braiding set of chemical use it is here okay then and braiding braiding is here so what is common what unites these two is b and c so 90 belong to b plus c 90 belong to b plus c 90 belong to b plus c then we come to the next statement whereby we are told Seven ladies prefer chemical use and haircut. So we come here, we look at the haircut and chemical, whereby we say what is common between the two sets is C and D, C and D. So 70 is equal to C plus D, C plus D, C plus D. Then lastly, we are told that 120 ladies preferred braiding and haircut, preferred braiding, prefer braiding and haircut. So what is common? So 120 is equivalent to what is common between braiding and haircut, which is C and FC and FC plus FC plus FC plus F. And lastly, that ladies preferred all the three styles. So which element is in both three sets? which element is in both three sets. So we have, we have set C, set C share both three sets, set C share both set C, both chemical, both braiding and both haircut. So 30 is equal to C, 30 is equal to C. So where there is C, you put there 30, where there is C, you put there 30. So if C is equal to 30, then, if C is equal to 30, then D is equal to 70 minus 30, which is 40. So 40, D is 40, D is 40. Then you come here, if C is equal to 30, F is equal to 120 minus 30, which is equivalent to 90. So F is 90, you will come and write there, F is 90. Then if C is equal to 30, then B is equal to 90 minus 30, 90 minus 30, which is equal to 60. So where there is B, you put there, 60, you put there, 60. Then you come here, you come here, you come here, you have, you have B, you have D, you have F, so you can find G, okay? You have B, you have C, you have F, you, have, you, you do 30, you take 180. I hope you have written this question. I can wrap. This is how we do this question, please. Rab, you take 180, you, you have to 80 is equal to B, B we said is 60 plus 
C, we are using this equation plus C, which is 30 plus F. F we are found it down here as 90 plus G. So if you add this 30 plus 60 is 90, 90 plus 90 is 180. Then you collect like sum to 80 minus 180, which is equal to G. So G alone is equal to 100. G alone is equal to 100. G alone is equal to 100. So you come here to find A. To find A, you find that 200 is equal to A plus B. B is 60 plus C is 30. Plus D, we say D is what? D is 40, plus D is 40. So you collect 90 plus 40, that's 130. It will 200 minus 130 is equal to A. So A alone is equal to 70. You come here, you put there, 70. You come there, you put there, 70. So E. E, we can find it here. We know C, we know D, we know F, so we can find E. So E, to get E, you can take 190, my is equal to C in 30, D, D in 40, then F, F my pattern 90 plus E. So you collect like term, collect like term. This is 130. This is 130, 160. This is 130, 160. Chakua, 190. This is 70, 70 minus 160 is equal to E, whereby E is equal to 30. E is equal to 30. E is equal to 30. So if you add all this, they must give you H is equal to zero because there was no lady who did not prefer any brand. All of them prefer the Brand. So if you add all this, they must give you 470, 470. So if you add this, they must give you 470. Please try, try to add and then you see. So this is how you present the information on a venom diagram. Then you show the examiner this a venom diagram. Then you can indicate those numbers inside, but the, it is this, if you live like this also, the, it is approved. Then question two, question B of that, of that knee, question B of that, you are told, the number of lady who preferred none of the above hairstyle, none of the above hairstyle. So whatever remain here, add the, all this, whatever remain here is what? So it is 70 plus 60, 130, plus 30, plus 30, 70, plus 60, 130, plus 30, 160, plus 60, 200, plus 30, 230, plus 90, 310, plus 100 is 4, 10. So for 10, for 10, 10, so our H here is not zero, is 60. So 60, you say H, H is 60, number of lady who did not prefer, number of lady who did not prefer any brand, 60 ladies, 60 ladies, 60 ladies who did not prefer, did not prefer any brand, that work or two. any brand. Are we together? Please, if you have a question, please try to ask there. If you have a question, please try to ask there. Then, the next question, the next question you are asked, the number of ladies who preferred only one type of hairstyle, only one type of hairstyle. So only one type of hairstyle are those elements that they only appear in one set there are those elements that only appear in one set. So question C or Roman three about that question at all, number of ladies, Roman three. So Roman two maybe to, to, to write for those who don't have me, at all, number of lady, number of lady, is this Roman two, number of lady,
who did not who did not prefer any brand so you take the entire brand has this element we have a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f plus g plus h those were the elements that were there in that brand with this whereby we said the total number of people who participated were for 70 so you'll come to replace there our a is 70 plus our b is 60 plus our c is 30 plus our d is 40 plus our e is 30 plus our g is 100 then we don't know h h is the number of people the number of ladies who did not like any brandy so if you left that then you left from 470 the answer you get must give you 470 so you will find h alone is equivalent to 60 ladies 60 ladies 60 ladies that's how you are supposed to do to get that two marks that's how you are supposed to do to get that two marks then you are told the, no the number of lady who preferred only one hairstyle so roman three roman three number of ladies who preferred only one hairstyle one hairstyle so you'll take the element that only appear in one set you'll take the element that only appear in one set like here we have elements a appear in only set c okay that's the preferred that so you take a plus in set e set h you only appear have a that appear in that set alone plus e plus in B, we only have G that appear in that alone, G. So you take those, so for G, for A is 70 plus E, E is 40. Is it 30 or 40? You look, you check here, it's 30. E is 30, and then G is 100, which equivalent to 200 ladies, 200 ladies which equivalent 200 ladies 200 ladies 200 ladies 200 ladies then the last question the last question the last question in this the last question in this hope it at all last question in this you are told last question in this you are told the number of ladies who preferred at least two type of hairstyles. So Roman four, at least two type of hairstyle, two type of hairstyle. So whenever you ask at least, are those elements that appear, those elements that appear in more than two, those element that appear in more than one set okay those elements that appear in more than one set so we have b plus c plus d plus g plus f no not g plus f so those are the ones that appear in more than one element so they are only testing you if you want one hairstyle was this but more than two at least two there were there the remaining elements. So for B is 60 plus C is 30 plus D is 40 plus F, F is 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. So if you add 100, 120 to 20, to 20, ladies, to 20, ladies. So that's how you are supposed to do. You get your... 10 marks, that's how you are supposed to do. You get your 10 marks. So you can copy or you can screenshot. I give you five minutes, we do one. 
Then I'll give you the homework you are going to do. The homework you are going to do. We do one more. Then I give you the homework you are going to do. I hope you are done. I hope you are done. So you can check another question, another question. I think this one I'll just read November 2019, November 2019, question five, question five B, November 2019, question five C, I mean, question five C, November 2019, question five C, November 2019, question five C. November, that was August 2022. Then I'll give you some work. You go and try it by yourself. Where you have a problem, we'll meet in the next class, okay? Yeah. November 2019, question 5C, 5C, whereby you are told, you are told, the recent continental athletic game was attended by 380 athletics. So our end was 380 athletics, athletics, 
Then you are told 200, 200 athletes, 200 athletes represented Eastern region, represented Eastern region. Then 160 athletes represented Western region. Western region. Then you are told 180 athletes represented Southern region, Southern region. And then 70 athletes, 70 athletes represented both both western both eastern both eastern and and western eastern and western region then you also have 66 athletes represented both 66 athletes represented both western and southern region southern region then you are also told 96 96 the athletes represented both represented both eastern and southern region southern region Southern region. And then lastly, we have 15 athletes represented all the three regions, all the three regions. Minute, please. So, required a venom diagram representing the above information, a venom diagram representing the above information. So let's go on, let's go on 15, represented all the three regions, 15 represented all the three regions. So required number one, as usual, present Roman one, present the above information on a Venom diagram, present the above information. On a Venom diagram, Venom diagram. So there are three regions. We have southern, eastern, and western. So we have three sets there. One, two, three. So we have eastern, we have western, and we have southern. So you put their element, you put their element, you put their element. So right there, this is a Venom diagram. Venom diagram. So element, element will be A. B, C, D, E, F, G, and H, and H, and H. So you come here, our N, or total number is 380. Then you come here, you write those elements A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So you start to crack, find those numbers, you start to crack, find those number which must be equal to 380. So the first statement, 200 athletes, 200 athletes represented the Eastern region. So we take all elements that are in Eastern region. We have A, 
plus B plus C plus D. Then 160 athletes represented Western region. So we have all those elements that are in Western states. All elements that are in Western states, they are part of this 160. So we have B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G. Then we have 180, 180, 180, 180, who represent the southern. So those elements that are in southern, those elements that are in southern set, all of them, we have B plus C plus E plus F plus F. Then there, there we start. 70 represented both eastern and western. So what? They share in common both eastern and western, eastern and western. So, and we said the common point that they share between the, the two. What they share in common is B plus C, okay? B plus C. Then 66, both western and 66, they share both western and southern. So, what they share in common, southern and western, southern and western. What they share in common is what we are looking at. Because we said and describes the, what is in common between the two. So it is C plus F, okay? Then we have 96. 96, they share both Eastern and Southern, both Eastern and Southern. So what they share in common is what we are looking at. What they share in common is what they are looking at. D plus C, C, D plus C. Then the last statement is 15. 15 athletes represent all the three regions. So what elements that share both the three elements is C. So this C share all both the three elements. C is in A, C is in, the, in Western, and C is in Southern. So our C is 15. So you start to crack. You start to crack. So you come here, our C is in 15. So you come here. If C is in 15, then it will be, it will be equivalent to 70 minus 15. So B it will be 55. So you come here, you put our B is 55. Then you come here also. If C is 15, then F it will be equal to 66 minus 15, which is equal to 51. Our F is 51. Then if C is 15, then our D, it will be 96 minus 15, which is equivalent to 81. Our D is 81. Our D is 81. Our D is 81. So you come here. You have B, F, we have D. You have B. F, we have C, we can find G, okay? So we can find G, we say 160 is equivalent to B. B, we know it is 55 plus C, C, we know it's 15 plus F, F, we know is 51, then plus G. So you add, you add 55 plus 15 is 70 plus 51 is 121. So it is 161 minus 121 is equal to G. So you'll get what? 160, I mean, not 161. Yeah. Engage your calculator. A calculator. Engage your calculator. Ume pata ngapi? 160. One sixty minus one twenty one. Thirty-nine. G is thirty-nine. G is thirty-nine. Then A, we have B, we have C, we have D. So A, the two hundred is equal to A 
plus b which is 55 plus c which is 15 plus d which is 81 must be give me 200 so it is 200 200 minus 55 minus 15 minus 81 49 our a is 49 so our a is 49 and lastly our e g we said is 39 our e is our e where is that e where by 180 we have 180 180 minus 180 minus our d d is 81 minus our c 15 minus our f if we find this 51 so we'll get c to be One eighty minus eighty one minus fifteen minus fifty one thirty three. Our e is thirty three. So if you add this, they have to give you three hundred and eighty. Three hundred and eighty. So plus they have to give you three hundred and eighty. They have to give you three hundred and eighty plus fifty one plus 39 plus 81 plus 15 plus 55 plus 49 49 i mean 49 they are giving me 323 then minus answer this answer minus 300 and Eight. So our head, those athletes that did not participate or did not came from any region were 37. They did not from the end of this region were 57. There were 57. Then after doing that, you go to question two. You go to question two. You go to question two of that question. Roman two. So Roman one was to present the information on a venom diagram. It is there. Then Roman two, the number of athletes that were not representing any of the region. It is H. Okay. So Roman two, number of athletes that did not represent any region. They did not represent any region. Any region, we said you take A, all element. If you take all element, must give you 380 B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G plus H must give you 380. So you have all these element like A you have is 49 plus 55 plus 15 plus. 81 plus 33 plus 51 plus 39 plus h is equal to 380. So it was h was equal to 380 minus 323, which is equal to 57 athletes. 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 57 athletes. Then the next question the number of athletes who represented only one region. So number of athletes, number of athletes represented one region, only one region. So I say such question, you look at those elements that only appear in only one set, like here A appear in E alone, E and G. So you take, it is A plus G plus E. So you find those, those elements, we have 49 plus G, G is, G is 39, G is 39, then plus E, E is 33. So how many is it? 42, it is 42, yeah, it is 49 plus 39 plus 33. Here is 18, one, car one, car two, six, 
six, nine, twelve, one, twenty one, one, twenty one, at latest, one, twenty one, at latest, one, twenty one, at latest. So, and the last question, the last question we're talking. The number of athletes that represented two region only. Number of athletes, athletes represented two region, two region only, two region only. So those sets that appear in only in two sets, those, those elements that appear only in two sets. So we have this B appear in this and this. We have F appear in this and this and D appear in this and this, okay? So we have A, we have B, we have B plus F plus D. So we take those numbers. For B, we have 55 plus D is a D is a one plus F is fifty one. So this is one twenty two plus fifty five. That will be one seventy one seventy seven at least one seventy seven at least. Then the last question, the last question, the number of at least who represented at least two regions. So two regions only. We are looking at those elements that appear in only in two sets, elements that appear in two sets. But if you are told to that appear at least in two regions, I don't know you tandika wapi so that utakuwa nayo mali. Okay. Then the last one, you are told that the number of athletes, number of athletes who represented at least two regions. So if they use at least two regions, it means that it is says that two, it says that two athletes or more than two, two regions or more than. So you find it is B plus F plus D plus C. You will include C there, whereby you say it is 55 plus 81 plus 51 plus 15. But this was 177. If you are there, 15 will be one times two at least. Let us, so that's how you do that question. That you do that question. And let me give you some work. You go and try by yourself. Go and try by yourself. You can try. You can try. Now, Jaribu. April 2021, so assignment, assignment, April 2022, question 5A, question 5A, and also you can try, May 2018, question, May 2018, question 3C. We see, try those two, and then you see, we will continue from there, okay? So this is the assignment. Assignment is here. Let's try, let's try those, let's try those. So have a good night, good day. Have a good day. <laughs>